I wanted to spend some time uh, reviewing our pricing model. And I think this would be really helpful if you're considering Solutions 8, you can know how we charge, how we bill. If you're an agency, uh, I'm gonna explain the thinking behind the way that we structured our pricing so that you could you know, potentially steal what we did or modify it and make it your own. Um, but we've got this handy dandy um, pricing calculator here. And what we have done is uh, we built our billing according to percentage of spend, which is what 90 some odd percent of all um, PPC agencies do. Now, there's a big beef with this, which is, uh, and honestly, I think there's some legitimate concern here when a client says, well, wait a minute, so you're incentivized to have me spend more? And the answer is, yes, we are. But there's also more work involved with higher spend accounts. Um, and that is almost a ubiquitous truth. So it, it stands to reason that the more you're spending, the more work we're doing, A. And B, it's also, if you really think about it, it's a, it's a performance metric. The more you're spending, the better the campaign's doing. Um, However, there is an economy of scale. And so our pricing is billed on a sliding scale. The first 50 grand from zero to 50 is billed at 10%. The next $50,000 is billed at 8% and so on and so forth. And let me explain the way that this whole key works and then I'll start to explain the sliding scale a little bit more. Um, the first thing you'll notice is there's a first month's fee. This fee will probably change. We're talking about what we're gonna need to build uh, in order to start building performance max campaigns because they're insanely in depth. Uh, there's far more structural requirements for performance max than there ever was for any other campaign type. And so if you're watching this video and you see our pricing and these numbers are a lot higher, you know why. It's performance max's fault. Um, but what we have is we have our first month's fee. This is, you can think of this as the campaign build out fee. This is the fee that um, we're taking in order to, you know, audit the, the technical infrastructure, let's say the plumbing, get the campaign built. Um, and then once the first month is over, um, you can actually stop looking at this because now it's the monthly fee plus whatever percentage um, makeup your campaign has. And so, you know, if you're spending uh, $110,000, you're going to pay us $2,500 bucks plus a percentage of spend. Now that percentage of spend is not 6%. Uh, and this is part of the reason I'm making this video is because we've had a hard time articulating this. Um, the way our sliding scale works is the exact same way that tax bracket works. Um, so here's uh, an infographic I stole from some website that was explaining the U.S. tax code. And you'll notice on the first $18,000, you pay 10% of taxes. Uh, when you hit seventy five grand, you pay 15%. Now, you don't pay 15% of the, the entirety of the $75,000. You pay 15% of... Uh, 75,000 minus 18,000. And then you pay 25% of anything between 75 and 151 and 28% of anything between 151 and 230. Now, I don't like using the tax bracket as an example because taxation is theft, but it's the best example that we have. Um, and so coming back here, 10% is built on the first 50,000. 8% is built, built against the next 50,000. So if you're spending $60,000 you're going to give us $2,000 plus 10% of the first 50 grand and 8% of the next $10,000. And that makes up 7,800 bucks. Um, and you'll also notice your fees uh, percentage of total spend uh, goes down significantly uh, the more you spend. So if you have a million dollar spend, we're 3.4%, which by the way, their agencies are spending, they're charging 30 to 40% of spend, which I think is insane. And we white label for quite a few of those agencies. So, um, all that to say, we're on a sliding scale, and we're on a sliding scale because if it were a flat fee percentage, uh, you end up with these really weird peaks and valleys to where you're charging the people who are spending sixty grand less money in totality than the people that are spending, you know, forty nine thousand or whatever. Um, so the the sliding scale is meant to fix the math problem of making sure that we don't end up going in the red as clients scale up their ad spend. <laughs> couple of other notes. We bill according to approved budget, not ad spend. And I've got a whole article here that I'll share in uh, the description of this video as to why. And a lot of it is honestly a reconciliation problem. If you say, hey, I want to spend $10,000 and we spent $9,995 and then one month and then the next month we spend $10,005, it's really difficult to go back and, and reconcile those two things um, from a billing perspective. A. B. It's actually as hard to try to spend $10,000 as it is to spend $10,000 inside of Google Ads. So if we're ever off by more than 10%, we'll refund you the difference and then drop your approved ad budget. 
but we don't bill according to ad spend. We uh, bill according to approved budget. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, we have, you know, massive portion of our business is made up by uh, referral partners and white label partners. So referral partners, um, you get 10% off uh, for the first year um, and or a 10% referral fee, depending on how it is that you would like to structure that. So um, you have to already be an existing client with us, of course. And then um, if you send us between one and three clients, we'll give you a 10% referral fee for the first 12 months. Um, white label partners, you have to have three clients with us and you'll get 20% off of our retail price for the life of the client, as long as you're managing the client. The big caveat here is white label services don't include client management. You have to manage the client. And that's a pretty significant cost, as I'm sure you know if you're in the agency space. Um, this is how we chose to structure our referral and white label relationships. It's all 100% transparent. So you as a client coming in here know exactly what I would pay uh, somebody who referred you and somebody who white labeled you. Um, and agencies tend to aim for 20% margins, by the way. And so this white label program is actually pretty pretty healthy, especially given the fact that if you're white labeling our services, you don't have to charge what I charge. There are agencies, and go look at some of the premier agencies that are charging 30 and 40% of ad spend. Even if you charge 10 or 20% of ad spend for higher spend clients, there's a significant margin there for you. And all you're doing is managing the client relationship. We're doing all of the work. So um, I hope I've done an okay job here explaining this. I'll make sure to include a link to our, um, oh, actually, I don't need, even need to do that. We have our, our pricing is on our homepage, uh, excuse me, on our website. So if you go to solate.com and you go to pricing, you can see the pricing calculator here. So if you're spending 50 grand, it's the exact same makeup. Um, and all the rest of the pricing as far as uh, white label and referral breakdowns is included as well. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you run an agency and you were curious as to how to spend, um, I hope this helps you as well because we've walked through every single possible manifestation. This is where we landed. And that's all I got. I'll see you all tomorrow. Wait, before you go. I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the solutions 18. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.